Let's do the maths. Shai is worth 46 billion. Taket is worth 42 billion. How does it pay for it? Right. Well, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, one thing with uh, with Japanese companies that are doing overseas deals is that. Um, you know, Japanese banks are very eager to lend to those kinds of acquirers because you've got a, a, a domestic population there that's shrinking. There's not a lot of growth prospects at home in the domestic market. So it is easier for a company like Takeda to get financing potentially than it might be for somebody based elsewhere who doesn't have that dynamic. What's the lure of Shire, Eric? Why does it want to snap up Shire? <laughs> Well, Shire has a strong position in, in cancer, in, uh, in a few other areas, you know, um, where what you look at as, as kind of rare, medis or rare disorders, right? And, and they're specializing in those kinds of treatments. Everybody's looking for that because it's higher added value, higher, uh, higher profits potentially in, in those kinds of treatments. Um, and of course, it, yeah, it diversifies Takeda's footprint a bit. Um, uh, everybody's looking for, for expansion um, in that sector because it's getting more and more expensive to, uh, to create, you know, to, to create blockbuster drugs. So scale, everybody's chasing scale, um, and, and this is another example. It's interesting that it's a Japanese company that is doing this, or reportedly doing this. Eric, we haven't seen Japan take the lead here very much, at least in recent decades. Could this be the beginning of a, a new era? Well, sure, especially in pharma, um, there aren't that many big global players from Japan. Takeda is the biggest. Um, this would be a deal, you know, of a different scale, 50 billion. It would be a lot bigger. Uh, we have had some deals like SoftBank going after ARM, uh, buying ARM here in, in, in the UK, you know, in a chip deal. Um, so, you know, there have been some outbound deals, but, uh, you know, 50 billion is a sizable uh, sizable purchase. Yeah, that's the understatement of the day so far. Eric, are there other companies, I and mean, given that Chire says it hasn't heard anything about this, that might signal that it's, it's not interested. Are, are there other, you know, potential companies that Takeda could go after? Well, sure. There's a lot of deal-making going on in the sector, right? I mean, a lot of biotechs, um, that sort of thing that, um, that could potentially be attractive. You know, this one kind of came out of the blue. Um, you know, Shire has always been a, a, a kind of a takeover or t a target of takeover um, uh, speculation. So, in that sense, um, you know, they, uh, you know, it's not that surprising that somebody would somebody would go after them. Um, but you know, where Takeda would go next, or why they went public with this at this point, um, you know, when it was, um, you know, kind of they hadn't actually approached the company. You know, that's all. That, that's a mystery we're still trying to trying to figure out.